Okay, after the curl lesson, we are going to start working on the clump layering effects. You always has to have to have in mind that you need to work from the bigger clump, let's say this is my bigger clump, to the smaller clumps. Always, that's the better way for you to work with clumps. You shouldn't be using different way to work in. So the layer that is, or the effect that is lower on this top here, it's going to be the first effect to be on place. And I'm going to create a new clump system here. So you can see that even if the density is one, it has a lot more of points than usual. And by usual, by default, it's going to create a lot of points. So let's save, generating just one point on density. And you can see how the effect is starting to be great. But I want to have less density even than that. So maybe let's put a point two because I want to have the values and the possibility to mix between them. So I'm going to remove the color settings from them and I can put the color preview for the other tab and you can see the other clumps, not the first level. Now I think that this level is still too much. So let's put a value of half 0 0.1 and that's better, bigger clumps. So I always try to divide each clump by half. So each clump to have two clumps and that's going to give me a better control over everything. So you can here see here that we have almost each clump cut it by half. That's going to be my first clump system. And for this one, I'm going to create a basic effect and let's put a basic noise that it's going to affect towards the tip. It's better if it's going to affect towards the middle and not that much on the tip. Let's put the, the interpolation into splines and the frequency to a value of one, it's too much. Frequency a value of 0.2 and let's put the noise to five. It's too much, 0 0.05 on the frequency. So I just want to have movement on my noise on my clumps. So a value of five, it's okay. I just want to move them away just a minor bit. And now, I will add a new layer, a new clumping system, but this one first I'm going to put it uh, with a clump effect of 0.5 because I want to have half the effect, not that much. Just a subtle effect over here. I can create new mask and I can create a lot of things here. Now let's add a new level of clumping that is going to give me the same density. Now I can create smaller clumps here something like that works maybe a bit more a bit less sorry 0.5 and again let's put a value of maybe 0.6 because i want to have a subtle effect around here i do like it and let's try to make it lesser on the tips a value of 0.5 so it's almost it has almost no effect on the tips, but it has more effect on the sides, on the center. So you can see it on the center, but not that much on the tips. And that will be all for that one. Now let's create the last level of clumping. And this one is going to have a lot of clumps or a lot of points, maybe a density of two. So that's not much, maybe a density of 10. I want to have a lot of clumps, really, really small clumps here. So maybe even more, 40. Okay, I think that's the maximum for the bases, mostly because here on the base I have almost no clumping. So let's apply more clumps towards the base. That's too much, 0.4. So the maximum allocated clumps, it's going to be there. So maybe I will need to add more density. Let's put a value of 80 here. And I have more clumps there. Then maybe I will need to add one more layer after this one, because that's the limit, apparently. Yep. So 
let's put that one there and the effect I want to have a subtle effect so a value of 0.5 here and a position of 2 and let's put a value of 0.5 that just to add the effect and remember that we are talking about subtle effects that just gave us these kind of clumps that are more natural to work with and you can add noises maybe I can add a random noise here and it's going to help me to reduce the effect and be less obvious so let's put a rand value with zero comma zero comma one sorry and accept and that's going to give me a random effect maybe I can put the same random effect here on the clump maybe even less 0 0.5 5 sorry 0 0.5 and the last clumps this is going to be the last clump system that it's going to define me let's generate it's going to take a while to be visible the scale is not working that great so maybe a bigger density of 10 generate save yep apparently I have points that are being disqualified because of the size I'm using really really small clumps and it's not working enough but with this one I can make the one that I want it so with the noise you go for a value of maybe 5 And let's put everything in here and you can see how now let's put the value of the tip lower so that the tips maintain the effect and let's put a frequency of 0.2 and you can see how we are going to have a more natural look maybe 0.1 on the hair you can see it here we have some minor waves 0.606 so smaller waves but just a minor division maybe a movement of 10 on each strand and you can see here how the hair now looks more natural just working with the noise and the layering of the effect by itself and if you want to add a curling effect on the tips you can also add something like that let's add a bit of curls to the tips you can see them here and let's put the offset up with a value of one so it's going to be more natural maybe not that much and not on the center maybe a value of five on first so you can see how just the clumps receive that kind of value and it looks great you can even alterate the clumps that's too much you can see that the effect is just blowing away the clump the curling it's better just to apply it to the clumps that are on the base if not you can have some weird effects but the noise and the layering part it's looking great I can apply again the curling system that I had before I think it was a value of 5 with a value of 1 and you can see here how both values are mixed into this result and the result is much much natural than what we had at the very beginning so this will be all for the clumping lesson when you have layering effects and i hope you like this lesson